Hey everybody, this is a quick guide on how to update the firmware on your Mega Mini, and you can do that using any standard 5-volt Arduino. So it could be an Arduino Uno, a Mega, or a Nano. Uh, you'll need a 10 microfarad or greater capacitor. So if you have 10, 30, 300, hell, even tried 1,000 and it worked. And you're also going to need six jumper wires, and these are male to female. All we're really going to do is use the Arduino ISP sketch to turn one of these into a programmer, and then we're going to connect it to the ICSP port right at the top of the Mega MIDI. So I'll show you how to get these connected and programmed as programmers. Okay, make sure your Arduino is connected via USB and has nothing connected to it. Now you're going to want to make sure that you have the official Arduino IDE, not the web IDE, the actual full program. Once you have that installed, you should have access to the script we need, and it'll give you all the drivers you need. So let's go to Tools, Board, and make sure you're using the correct board. I was using just a normal Arduino Uno. And you want to take a look at the port option. Make sure it's set, first of all, but just kind of remember what it says here. That'll be useful for when we get to the flashing program. Now what you're going to want to do is go to File, Examples, Arduino ISP, Arduino ISP. This is the script we need. We need to make sure that it's completely unmodified. All you need to do is just go ahead and press upload. Give it a second to compile. And as soon as it's uploaded, you have a programmer. So after you've got your programmer already, go ahead and disconnect it from USB. Now remember, all we're going to be doing is connecting this programmer that we just made out of our Arduino Uno to this connector right here. Now there is a wiring diagram in the manual, but there's also the official Arduino page if you'd like to see more info on this. But anyway, we need this capacitor across reset and ground because every time a new USB instance is invoked, It'll actually reset this chip, and we don't want that, so this capacitor will eat that reset signal. If you've never used one of these before, it's pretty simple. Short side with little gray markings, that's negative, and that needs to go on ground, while this long lead needs to go on this reset pin right here. So all you have to do, unplug it, or uh, separate the leads like that, long leg goes into reset, small leg goes into ground. I do realize that it's kind of a pain to only have one cap, but they're not too expensive and they're easy to find. And remember, you can use capacitors that are larger. Okay, that's a little jank, but that'll do. So reset, ground, perfect. Now let's get on to the wiring. This part's also pretty easy. All you have to do is just follow the hookup diagram. So right up here, this pin, if you can see that little silk screen star, that's number one. Now the one across from it is number two. Then you go down three, four, five, six. The Arduino pins are also numbered. So let's start with ground first. That's easy. I have this gray wire here. And you can pick any one of the grounds on the Arduino. I'm going to pick the one that's right here. And you're going to want to connect ground to pin number six, which is right here. Next pin we're going to do is number 10 on the Arduino. up for me that's 11. Ten, perfect. 10 is the reset line and reset is down here and number five. Okay let's do 11 and that is master out slave in. That is number four right here. Let's do number 12, which is master in, slave out. Now master in, slave out is actually pin number one up here. So the very top one. And now all I need is S clock. That's number 11. S clock goes to this little 
empty pin in the middle right here. Now once you have all of these hooked up, you're ready to program. So all you need to do is hook up your Mega MIDI to USB and your programmer to USB. Once you do that, both of them should be on. The Mega MIDI might be in reset mode. And then we can move towards the flashing script. Okay, so now it's time to actually flash our code. Uh, I wrote this flashing script in Python, so you can run this on any operating system. However, if you want to use Windows, I strongly recommend it because I've actually built a little standalone that doesn't require an extra Python install and you don't have to worry about dependencies, so I'll make sure to link it in the description. But once you've downloaded it, go ahead and extract it, and I'll put it in this little temporary folder I have prepared. And inside of the folder you'll find megaflasher.bat. Now just double click that. And if you remember, my Arduino was on the 31st serial port, which is showing up as option 0. I'll just put 0. Now it'll automatically grab the latest text file from GitHub and begin flashing. This will take about one minute. After it's done, your Mega MIDI should reboot, and you should be ready to go. Now this script was written in Python, so it can run on any platform. But it's a little bit more involved because you're going to need some prerequisites. Now just go ahead and download the megaflasher python.zip file and I'll be sure to leave a link in the description for that. Once you do that, go ahead and extract it. And inside the folder, you're gonna find this readme.txt. This should give you a good idea of the prerequisites you're going to need. macOS actually comes with a version of Python installed, although I don't know if it has pip installed. So if any of these commands don't work, just go ahead and go to the official Python website and download the latest version, which right now is 3.8. That should work just fine. So back to the prerequisites, you'll notice that it needs PySerial and requests. So if we just go ahead and open up a new terminal, I'm just going to go ahead and change the directory to this folder here. So it went to my downloads, so cd downloads, and it is in megaflasher.python. Flasher Python. And if I type ls, I can see my Python file right here. You'll need to make sure that you have PySerial and requests, so we can just say Python 3, that's important, dash m for module, pip install PySerial, and I already have it installed, and requests, again, I already have mine installed. Once you have these two things, all you need to do is say Python 3 megaflasher.py and then you'll run the script. It'll look for the serial port. Now you'll see usually on modern, modern MacBooks you'll see a Bluetooth port. Just ignore that. Most likely your Arduino is going to show up as tty.usb modem and some numbers. Again, if you don't know which uh, port to use, just check under ports in the Arduino IDE. In this case it's showing up as option 1, so I'll just type 1. Give it a second, it'll grab the latest firmware, invoke AVR dude, and there it goes. And again, this will take about one minute. As soon as it's done, your Mega MIDI will reset and it'll be on the latest firmware. Okay, let's briefly go over how to use the script using Linux. And this is just a standard Ubuntu install. So go ahead and download megaflasher.python and use the extraction tool to just extract it to your desktop. I've already done that, so I'll go ahead and open that folder. You'll see a readme.txt. Don't worry about it. Now there are some prerequisites that you need to install before you use the script. First being Arduino. You also need Python 3. You need Python 3 pip. You need PySerial and PyRequests. So run these commands before you run this script. When you do run the script, I'm going to go ahead and go into the terminal and I'm going to change into the directory. So I'll say cd desktop slash mega flasher dot pi. I'll just use a star there. And I'll say ls. There's our script right there. So you need to sudo this script or else it won't be able to find the serial port. So sudo python3, that's important, mega flasher dot pi. Now it's looking for the serial ports and it seems to have found it. I'm pretty sure mine is the first option, so I'll just type zero. 
it'll automatically grab the firmware, invoke AVR dude, and there we go, it's starting to program the firmware. And this will take one minute, just like the other operating systems.